Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more people just do nothing. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Also, thank you very much for giving me a list of all the slang to go through, man. It's going to help a ton. Kind of reminds me of when I was growing up and just getting lost in all the slang and stuff in school. And I just could never keep up with all uh, the, the different words and stuff. It was always something new for everything. There would be conversations going on and you don't know what we're talking about. And I guess it's the whole reason coming up with like, these code words and stuff. But when you're in school, like, what's the... A point i get i know they smoked weed and stuff but there's so many code words for everything like pills and weed and all that stuff and like you know dime bags and those things like for dollar mounts and all that so i just can never keep up with any of those things even like words that like when i remember tight and true for like if something is cool or whatever by the time i i tried to learn like a word that was always like a new one and i remember i got to the point where i just i gave up i didn't want to and that was really early on that was pretty fresh in the high school i was barely doing good in junior high school trying to learn all the words but when i was in high school like, i don't want to do this anymore man uh, so there are words i just stuck to that's why i use the same words now and i picked up other ones later on and i don't even remember why i even learned where i picked the words up that i use every day from i don't recall where they all came from but yeah if i like a word i just add it in i mean you guys hear the stuff i say over and over again that's those are words that i use i guess you call my forever words or whatever but yeah i just never picked up any of the other stuff and i think once people get to a certain age uh, and when people start saying people feel dated, I think everybody does that or just kind of say the same stuff. I know for me, I always say this, that's out of control or that's what's up or that's whack or whatever it is. Those are words that I've just been using for a long time and I picked up some other ones here and there and I don't remember where I picked them all up at. Uh, but I just can never, my stuff just never adjusted. I've been using whack and stuff for a very long time. Um, even though I, don't, I know it's like dated, I don't know, everything I've been using has been dated for a long time. Because uh, I, I, I remember people saying stuff like, nobody uses whack anymore. I'm like, well, I, well, I do. So, <laughs> that's all I'm going to use. But yeah, man, uh, that's what just reminded me of. It was uh, seeing that whole comprehensive like list like, <laughs> of all the different slang. So yeah, man, I appreciate you making a list for me. Let's just go ahead and jump into the episode. We'll talk about more at the end. Hey, guys, it's midnight. It's popping off. Right now is a lyrical tribute, yeah? to my angel, and it is because she is turning a whole year older. Yeah, this didn't go, you know it's not age. Who's ready? Who's Girl's ready? Girl's knocked out. Not the first, but the first to do it properly. A lyrical monopoly, lyrical legacy, it's hereditary. To be what? <laughs> the best garage MC car? Who's your daddy, D? Who's your daddy? It's me. <laughs> the, the good the MC. That was pure emotional in his eyes. We're all feeling it. Staves has even got a tear in his eye. Yeah, man. I think it might just be from the smoke. I would, do, yeah. It was emotional, though. Still liked it. <laughs> really enjoyed it. You gotta pause it. It's, it's me. Oh, no. <coughs> <coughs> Easy boy. All right. Come through. The old birthday thing. You know what I mean? Better early, guys. Right? Yeah. Easy. Yeah, oh, look at that. Look how she's holding the spoon. It's like a mic. Natural instinct. It's like her daddy. She's not doing any uh, old cards <laughs> yeah, in that, yeah? Loads of cards, yeah. Crack one open, see what it says. Happy birthday, Angel. Well, that's a thoughtful message. Not even any money in it. Is well. it took the look for money. It's pointless if they're not going to make an effort, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, don't worry, Angel. I know they're you some money, haven't they? Yeah. Tell them how old you are today. Five. Big five. My little angel's getting old. I started getting like like crow's feet and like deep lines when I was your age, so you're lucky that mummy knows how to fight the signs of ageing. I've got a two for one manicure and eyebrow threading at Brentford's Nails down the high street. It's just like a little birthday treat for my little birthday lady. I was, I've got sad as well, actually. I was uh, going to wait for him to get down here yeah, before I told you, but decoy is actually going to be your show feet. Look the driver for the day, so... Thanks. Yeah, that's it, cos you, uh, you got to look good for your little party, ain't ya? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, it's all worth it, though, isn't it? See, look on her face. Oh, she's so excited. To me, it's about giving her a memory she will never forget. Although she probably will forget, cos she's only five, and, like, when she gets into her drug-taking years, she'll be getting wrecked then, and her memory will get wiped, so... <laughs> it's all good to make an effort, though. What is wrong with this dude? Oh man. I'm drinking window cleaner. Uh, that's the only one I can find. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Ugh. I'm gonna jeer yeah. shirt. I'll tuck it in. Shall I tuck it in? Yeah, tuck it in. All the way around. 
Yeah, maybe maybe it's clean. <laughs> there you go. No, you go. You can tie that. Come here. Because we only yeah. really did the short ties in school. Oh. Shirt sure, really smells. Look, don't worry about how you smell. Oh, yeah, Just dirty. worry about looking smart. That's the most important thing. Because I've got a job interview today at Taiwan. A job interview, the country. Bro. The suit shop. The one next to Greg's in West Ealing. So Roche knows the manager there, so yeah. got an interview down there Let's today. Let's just say he's got a good chance. Let's just say, yeah. yeah. So I'm really looking forward to it, actually. Yeah. That's stinking. It'd be nice, wouldn't it, to have a job? And then you could start paying some bills, yeah. spending some more time with me and Craig. Yeah, because then, yeah, then I can spend more time with you like that. That's better. <laughs> he's sitting on the yeah. press. James Bond sort of shit. No. <laughs> well, I hope he gets it. It'd be nice That's to have terrible. a bit of money, you know, so it wasn't all just me making all the money and that'd be good. Easy boys. I think it'd be good for him. I think he'd feel better, he'd feel a sense of achievement if he came home with some money. You got that job interview today? Yeah. yeah. It's an absolute nightmare, mate. Yeah. I'll tell you what, do you want to do a bit of role play for the interview? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? OK, pull up a chair, mate, pull up a chair. Oh, cool. Pretty much everything on there I can do for you. All that, what, for 70? All for 70, mate, okay? Party is practically my middle name, yeah? It's your is party, he, G. Is he gonna be the clown? The clown? Do you usually do it from top, then? Sorry, yeah. Yeah, that's how I was trying to do it, yeah. That's how I'm it's interesting, yeah, it's like yeah. a foreign technique. So maybe if we get a bit more, like, from below. Sit and take a deep breath. Yeah, you ready? Okay. Good girl. Maybe you hover over me. Hi, babe. You there right now? Oh, okay. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's looking smooth right now. Free water here as well, yeah? They ain't mucking about. They know what they're doing. I have to use the bloody stairs because the lift is jammed. I'll tell you what, I haven't sweated this much since my last brush of passport control. <laughs> Grinder, all right. Here they are, boss. Just wrapping up the presents. Ah, <sighs> uh, smashed it, cutting through, yeah? Yes, all sir. good? Yeah, brilliant, man. This is going to be awful. There you go. They're like penis straws. Yeah. Penis, no dude. Chocolate willies. Yeah. Everything's cock related. It's my little girl's birthday parties and there's cocks everywhere. Oh, no, <laughs> no, it's still all classic parties. No. Here, yeah? All we gotta do is disguise it a little bit, okay? And look, think about it, yeah? If you change it and it doesn't actually look like a really, you won't think twice before putting it in your mouth. I'm not putting that <laughs> in my mouth. I'm not putting anything like that anywhere near my mouth, alright? The company is called your buddy's party package, which is a bit of a play on words, if you know what I mean. Um, it's mostly aimed at hen parties. I've never really done a children's party before, but I mean, it's the same thing really, isn't it? Where's the smoke machine? Mm. I've got incense, mate. What's incense? It's like smoke machines, um, but it has a lovely aroma attached to it, free of charge. So not a smoke machine? Not exactly, Fucked but um, right. I've got a choice of uh, cherry or sandalwood. Oh, fair. Definitely cherry. Good choice. Let's do what it. Fuck all this smell sandals. <laughs> Oh, that's one of my favourite things. Oh, willies. <laughs> After dinner, willies. Bit of sauce. Stop touching them! Mint, minty. Do you want me to repeat the question? I'm just going to stop you there, actually, Christopher, because I need to head to the toilet. Okay. That's all right. Okay, well, actually. Uh, don't worry, I know where it is. Always leave them wanting more. Standard. Job done. This dude this is one out of control. This one a danger. DJ Beast does my selector. This one a big, this one a danger. Uh -huh. Sweet. <laughs> this girl's gonna kill him. <laughs> this is not what he meant. Stop. 
So on Duke Angel, on. yeah? <laughs> Lucky girl. No, Steve. Oh, nice. Be nice. This is my mum, Carol. Come to my mum. He had that once. Keep it moving. Keep it moving, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's like, it's good news and there's bad news. Well, I already know the bad news because I spoke to Chris earlier. How's decoys? Which one's yours? Well, nothing. It's pointless now because decoys are massive. Mine's tiny compared to it. All right, guys, listen, special appearance coming very soon. Get your party hats on. Decoy. I'm telling Decoy about my modelling days. Decoy doesn't give a shit about your modelling days. Shut up, Lemon. I don't know why you knock around with me, I swear to God. God. You weren't exactly a model, you were an extra in a DFS advert. Why have you got a massive present? Yours is massive. It ain't nothing big, man, trust me. Of course it is, it's bigger than all the rest. Kids love massive presents. Brother, no, it's cool, man. Just give me yours. It ain't about size, is it? Well, it's easy for you to say you're Jamaican. Uh, no, <laughs> don't touch the balloon. Don't touch the balloon. That was Joe. Oh, you have got to grow up. <laughs> I'm already struggling supporting Craig and fucking Debo. I know, am I getting through to you at all? Yeah, sorry. It's that clown looks proper weird, like. Where's his shirt? Maybe it's just like modern clown sort of thing. <laughs> Friggin' stripper. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mr. Throb. De Niro! So no helicopter stuff, De Niro. <laughs> no helicopter Come stuff. On, make it do it. What? What do you want me to do? Part of being a mum is just being able to like handle whatever gets thrown at you. I've got this mug. This says, isn't it? Keep calm, be a mum. And like, that's like a slogan I just live by now. Hey, listen, make an animal out of this or something. Like After eight years, like, like, of... make sure she's getting fat or anything. And if, like, one day I do look down and I know she's getting a bit, like, you know, chunky or whatever. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, my God, you cracked walnuts with those. No, you can't. Right, that's it. You're done, mate. Get out. Get out. Oh, that was good, wasn't it? Like, he's actually, like, really, like, technically talented dancer. Yeah, yeah. I'd like him for my birthday, Mish. I don't give a fuck, mate. Sort out your buzz later. It's a five-year-old birthday party. You should be starved for life now. <laughs> You gonna open some presents? That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. Which one do you want first? Why is it? Is it closed? Oh come on! <gasps> oh, it's a baby shampoo. Oh, baby shampoo from Steve. Yeah. Hello. The Lucy Gallup shampoo. You're fucking joking me. I love it. I mean, Angel loves it. Thanks, Uncle Decoy. What do you say? You don't like it. No, I don't have to. Okay. Well, I've got to tell him to stop the party. Best Christmas. Oh, she loves it. Okay. Oh, he's it's pissed off. Yeah. Grinder, here to catch your hyper. It's, it's Beats and Grinder, here to get it's you hyper. <laughs> He's actually lucky he wasn't there because he's trying to make them do the swap. Conducted. It would have got swapped in there. Tuesday. Just going straight to voice, mate. Oh, uh, you can tell. Like, half of her is me, you know, like girly, nails, shopping. And then the other half of her is a bit more like violent, like stabbing stuff and like breaking all her toys and like shouting at me. And that's more like her grinder side. You got a screwdriver or something? <laughs> Completely pointless, this whole thing. <laughs> he was fart. Oh, no. Yeah, it sucks that he missed the the, less, the rest of her birthday in the present opening, but he was trying to force a swap on the gift, and they would have been doing a swap, and she wouldn't have liked it anyway. So it really felt like he was trying to get a gift for himself, but it seems like he actually does know his daughter. And she was saying, like, she's more of a... She, the daughter's more of a tomboy. And looking at the back of her bed, it looks like I saw a lightsaber. I could be wrong, but looking at her room, it was like she saw... It was like a lightsaber and stuff back there, so... Um, Looks like the dad actually knows her more than the mom does, and more than the biological father does as well. And I give it to him because he's not really active in her life, and they're trying to keep it hidden that he's the actual father. And she's the mom is even admit to it herself. But yeah, all around crazy situation. And it's funny the the girl <laughs> like actually likes those songs talking about uh, you know vagina and penises and all that crazy shit. <laughs> you like it? Let her listen to stuff. The baby look back there nodding her head, loving it. It's hilarious. Man, God bless him. I don't know why he really thought the guy was going to come through with actual good party supplies. I didn't know how he was going to botch it, 
but you knew he was going to botch it. I didn't think he actually had a party planning company, but he, he really does. It's just like you said for, uh, you know, bachelorette parties. He he improvised though and got it all together, but still, it just <laughs> condom balloons, uh, dude. Put chocolate willies and stuff together. I could tell there was penis straws like right when they opened the box. You can see it like from like the base. I was like, dude, this is gonna <laughs> go super sideways. Uh, they're out of control. Man, oh man. She was being super annoying to like the nail tech lady too, just because she has her what she's what is it, cosmetology license. Uh man. Well like, yeah, you have your license, but like <laughs> it's like well, I work in a field, man. I'm actually out here doing it. But yeah, this is this is a really good stuff, uh a crazy episode. All right, folks, that is it. That is all for this one. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.